Hey, we're Toronto Metrobotics, proudly from Ontario, Canada. After an exciting experience at the 2023 University Rover Challenge, we've taken the lessons learned to enhance and optimize our rover's performance for URC. This year, our mechanical team developed a new 5D Freedom, Freedom Arm, which utilizes a 15 to 1 psychotic gearbox for the shoulder joint, a warm gear driven elbow joint, a differential gearbox wrist joint to provide an increased range of motion and improve torque capability. A new and effective design provides ease of maneuver in performing the equipment and servicing missions. The finger include a solenoid for pressing buttons on the keyboard. With the new lead screw design, the end effective provides robust ripping strength to flip switches, open a drawer, and pick up a five kilograms ammo box. The inclusion of a quick release system allows for the quick swapping of the end effector. This allows us to swap to a lightweight design with strong whip strength for extreme and retrieval missions. The double lambda rocket boogie suspension allows the rover to overcome challenging terrains. This year, the software team has developed an inverse kinematics model that allows for more intuitive movement. This model also includes custom PID controllers on each joint, allowing for all joints to react responsively to their unique load conditions. The combinations of these two improvements lead to an arm which is extremely responsive and robust. We have optimized our previously developed real-time protocol streams to enhance their speed, stability, and latency of data transmission. Further, the camera GUI allows for video codecs to be assigned on a per-camera basis. This enables our streams to adjust depending on the actions the rover is performing. The tools part of our front end include our network tool, our real-time visualizer and analyzer, and finally, our real-time GPS tracking system. The network tool allows users to see which devices are connected over our network. The real-time visualizer demonstrates what the rover should be doing in real time. Our real-time analyzer demonstrates the feedback of what the rover is actually doing. And finally, our real-time GPS tracking system will help assist the driver in the navigation of the rover. The system offers real-time updates of the rover's position along with path markings and waypoints. Our autonomous navigation team have continued their development on the ROS2 framework for reliable communication between our rover and the base station. A new GNSS device has been used to allow for a more accurate positioning of the rover, which is reflected in our rover's ability to achieve a sub 2 meter accuracy in our point-to-point -point navigation. This year, we have also expanded our detection system to help assist us in the new autonomous task. Similarly to our Aruko tag detection, our rover can detect and approach the necessary items that were mentioned in the URC guidelines. For this year's science mission, we've tailored our console to meet the unique challenges presented by this year's competition. Our team has overhauled our soil collection system, introducing an advanced mechanism capable of reaching new depths through the use of alpers. This innovation enables us not only to gather soil samples from significant depths, but also to assess in situ temperature and moisture content. Maintaining our commitment to vital research functions, we've continued to refine our lipid biomarker test. All soil samples undergo agitation with detergents for separation of solids and are then treated with a Nile blue colorimetric solution. The samples are then analyzed using our custom-built lightweight spectrophotometer to determine the presence of different concentrations of lipid biomarkers. Furthermore, we've retained and enhanced the ion probe array, which is crucial for detecting the presence of essential ions such as hydrogen, calcium, potassium, and ammonium. Enhancements to our camera systems have improved the ability to capture comprehensive panoramic images, greatly improving our geological assessment. These panoramic shots are key to identifying and dating rock formations, offering insights into the geological processes that shape them. This year, the focus for the electrical team has been to increase the reliability and ease of testing of our power and control systems. For our control systems, we split the rover and arm into their own separate robots. This enables parallel testing and development of the systems as they can now function independently. The arm only requires a power and ethernet connection from the rover, meaning it is still operational even when it is dismounted. For electrical and fire safety, we've implemented an emergency stop switch on the rear of the rover that will cut power to all devices via a 400 amp contact. Our contactor has been specially selected to ensure that under even the highest power draw conditions, the power can be reliably disconnected. To more precisely control the position of our arm to support our inverse kinematic system, we've upgraded the motor controllers to RoboClaw motor controllers from Basic Micro. These motor controllers allow us to read encoder counts from the motors, as well as perform PID calculations internally. As we gear up for URC, our team is committed to consistently test and improve our new systems to ensure our readiness for competition. We are genuinely thankful for the incredible support from all of our sponsors in your viewership of our system acceptance review. Please continue supporting us on this journey. Bye.